welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting another weekly reading vlog. And today we are starting one because it is A, the final book support group, and the mini magical readathon. So two in one week, very exciting. I am sitting inside with a hoodie and a coat on because I am too lazy to get out of it. It's kind of cold in here. I'm waiting for the place to heat up. But the problem with that is that the room is heating up but I am also heating up in the jacket, and it's still gonna be cold when I take the jacket off. So there's a flaw in my plan, okay? I acknowledge that. I'll tell you the plan. I mean, I've already finished something from the plan, but we'll leave that for a second. <laughs> so the plan for this week is to read four? Four books. Three of them are novellas. One of them is a full-length novel. And so I want to read the six Murderbot Diaries book, which is a novella called Fugitive Telemetry uh, by Martha Wells, and that is the final book that is currently out. So, well, not the final book altogether, it's the final one that's out, so it counts. And it also counts for my mini magical read the -thon prompt for dark cover, because my two prompts for that is dark cover and standalone, which does not fit with the final book support group, but that's fine. So those are the two prompts I'm doing, I think is it the shadow realm and a dagger so that's in case you're interested so i'm reading fugitive telemetry for that so that goes for the final book support group and it also goes for uh, the mini magical readathon then the other two novellas i want to read are the deal of a lifetime by frederick bachman which i actually do not know what this is about i think it's out at christmas and that is all i know well there's a christmas here on the front so i'm presuming it's at christmas um and I'm reading this because I want to finish reading all of Frederick Bachman's books so I can do a ranking. This is one of the last two things I need to read, not including his nonfiction and his sequels to Bear Town, because I'm I'm not sure who does Bear Town need a sequel, so I don't really want to read it. Could count for a standalone for the Mini Magical Readathon. It does not count as a final book, but whatever. Or I mean it could count as a final book because like it's one of the final books I need to read from him. Hmm. I don't think that's what they meant when they said final book, but shh. <laughs> and then the third book that I want to read, again, another novella, is And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman. And this, I believe, is the grandson and the grandfather, and they're discussing him. And the grandfather, I believe, has Alzheimer's, and it's going to be very sad, but it's only like 100 pages. So I'm like, hopefully it won't crush me completely, but... It could crush me completely. Same reasoning behind that as with the deal of a lifetime. Again, it could count as my standalone and it could also count as the final book I read from him. <laughs> and then the fourth book that I want to get to and the full length novel is The Burning God by Arf Kwang. I don't have it with me. It's over there. <laughs> there we go. There it is. <sighs> so that is the third book in the Poppy War trilogy and the Poppy War Trilogy follows Rin, who is going to this military academy. She has trained really hard for it. She's like a peasant girl with dark skin, and her life kind of is rough when she gets there. And they are learning about war and all of this, and then war actually comes, and it's a lot different. So that is obviously the final book in the series, and it's actually one of the only like final books that I have on my TBR, like or at least physically anyway. And maybe just in general, I have a lot of books where I've read like one or two books and I'm like in the middle of it, but I think that's the only one where I mean, that's the last one I need to get to. So I thought that's probably a good one. And since I'm kind of in the mood for an audiobook, the audiobooks for those are on script, so I shall listen to that. I already finished one of these. <laughs> So this morning on the bus and while doing some bits and pieces, I listened to Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells and I gave that a four out of five stars. I'm not going to talk about this for long because I've read all of the books in the Marvel Diaries. I've given them all four stars. I really enjoy them. So yeah, that is all I can really say. So that is all. Okay, so, oh my god, I just finished the deal of a lifetime and what the hell? That was dark. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I'm not even sure can I give it a rating because it's like really short. 
but I mean, maybe a four star because like it's obviously it's not like a five star new favorite or anything, but like I liked it more than like just like average. Like I had a like I liked reading it. It was quick. It was easy. It was fine and yeah oh my god i don't know what i expected but it wasn't that. <laughs> so and that's book two done two in one day good for me i can't tell you anything because it's like 60 pages and so like anything i say would like spoil it for you and but there's like a note on the inside of it and like he wrote this on christmas eve like his family was asleep and he just wrote this and i'm like dude were you okay <laughs> so yeah um i didn't i did not expect it but it was sweet i i do wish it was like a little longer but also i would have liked a full story of like this character and the people he interacts with but also i think part of it is how short it is so yeah if you're ever looking for a book read for a readathon i recommend this hi so it is now tuesday I updated you yesterday that when I finished the deal of a lifetime. So today I went and I went to college, all that jazz, really fun stuff. And on the bus this morning, it was way too early to be doing anything, but I started and every morning the way home gets longer and longer. And I realized when I was like 25% of the way through, hey, this is risky business because this book makes everyone cry. So maybe not read it on the bus in public. And also I was kind of just tired, so I was like, okay, I'm going to put the book down. So I'm about 25% of the way through. I can't really tell you much because it's like, I don't know, like, it's not very long. It's a really small book. It's a novella. Um, and I do already know that it is going to break my heart. I'm not sure will it make me cry. We'll see. See, I'm supposed to be, I think I'm supposed to be on Christy Sprints later. And so... I'm like, I'm not going to read that on sprints. I'm not going to let people see me cry. <laughs> so I'll read it later, like in a few minutes, because I'm going to go, I'm going to have a shower. I have to pack up some stuff for tomorrow. There's a bank holiday on Thursday and Friday, so I'm not going to be here. And I'm also working, so I need to pack up all my bits and bobs. So yeah, so I'll pack up all of those. I'll have a shower. I'll come back here. I'll read, maybe cry. We'll see. I mean, I'm not going to tell you. I mean, I will tell you, but I'm not going to show you. We're not there yet. When I finish that, I have a small bit of uni work I need to do. Uh, nothing too bad. Uh, I'm still waiting on people to respond to me because I have, like, I have a report I need to do, but I need other people's results. And I have, like, all my tables done and everything. So I just need their results and nobody is sending them to me. I have, I have messaged them individually. I have put it in our class group chat to name and shame them and nobody has done anything <laughs> so that's very annoying and so i'm probably not going to be able to finish that today i'm like and yeah so it's really annoying i like, i bet they're going to be there on like sunday night and it's due like next monday and they're going to be there like on sunday night doing it and then they'll be like oh yeah i need everyone's results so that's all for now i will see you all later okay so i just finished and every morning the way home gets longer long and I don't know what rating I'm gonna give it because like I feel like it's so short because like it's like less than 100-ish pages and so I'm like I'm not sure can it be a five star but then I'm like oh boy does it pack a punch <laughs> so yeah I don't know it's somewhere between a four and a five I might run it through call pile I don't really use it anymore but I might break out the old spreadsheet and <laughs> see but then I feel like Call Pile is really fair to like really short novellas. <laughs> so I don't know. I didn't cry um, like some people do. Like some people absolutely bawl at the end of it. And I think it's because I didn't realize I was at the end. I was like, wait, what? That's it? And then like, it took like a minute and then like tears started to come. And I was like, nope, you can't have this delayed of a reaction to it. <laughs> so yeah, so I was just like, blink, come back, blink, come back. Again, another one that I can't really review, but I mean, it really is like his other books. Just it all packed into a really short book. And I will say that something that like seems to be a theme in his books is like par like grandparents being like really good grandparents, but not necessarily the best parents. There's a lot of really crappy parents in these books. 
and so I think that's like kind of like Bear Town and anxious people are kind of the exceptions to that though there are some crappy parents in Bear Town but like I feel like the main family like is a good family and anxious people the father and son in that it's quite good but yeah I think a lot of his books like have really kind of tense relationships between parents and kids I mean it's impressive how much he managed to do in such a short space of time because like you really do feel for these characters and you really do care about them and just the way it ends yeah I was not expecting that oh my god but yeah I really enjoyed it I mean can you enjoy it it was really good it was well written hi <laughs> so it is Wednesday yes it's like five o'clock no it's not it's six o'clock so I don't have too much to say because I meant to start the burning god today and then I didn't so that was fun and yeah I kind of have a bit of a headache so I'm not really in the mood for it but I should start it tomorrow and this is kind of just to say that like don't expect many updates over the next few days because I'm working and I should hopefully be able to get a bit of reading done but I'm honestly not sure will I get too much done so yeah and then the other thing is book haul except it's only one book and it's called Spell and Trips by RJ Barker which I'm not too enthusiastic about but <laughs> I give the first book three stars I the ending was good this one is f 484 pages so it's really not too bad and it's also floppy which is nice um so yeah so i'll be reading this i'll probably read this next week i'd say uh i'll probably read this and i'll also read blood of dragons next week you know make a bit of a um book club reading week i'm intrigued as to where the story is going it's just i really dislike the writing but now that i'm prepared for the writing maybe i can ignore it better so yeah but i also think it has to do with the fact that because i'm reading it for a book club i'm like really reading it like i'm reading every single word to make sure i understand what is going on so i don't make a fool of myself in the live show and so I think that's why I'm noticing it way more than I probably would have if I was just like reading it normally and casually because I wouldn't have been like, you know, super focused. So yeah, anyway, that's all for now. Hi, so it has been a while. It has been a very long time. So it is now Tuesday. So this has now turned into a two week reading vlog. So obviously last week I read three novellas and then I started The Burning God by R.F. Kong and I got 250 pages in because I was working the weekend and I just I didn't have as much time as I thought I would so that was a bit disappointing. <laughs> but I'll talk about that now a bit more in a minute but I basically kind of decided well I've done my magical readathon prompts so like that was a success but I'm kind of just continuing on with the final books for a group <laughs> so yeah. So this week I'm going to finish The Burning God hopefully. I also want to read Blood of Dragons because I think the live show is this Sunday so I have to read Blood of Dragons. And then if possible I think I'll also make a start on Call of the Bone Ship which is the second book in the Thai Child trilogy which I am reading as part of Cassidy's book club. So yeah so ambitious plans probably not gonna happen. Um, I have to do a presentation today and the thought of it actually makes me sit sick so that's fun um so I was spent yesterday just stressing about that so I didn't read yesterday and then today I am also going to spend stressing about it so I'm probably not going to read much today either so that's fun so as I said I was working over the weekend so I threw the audiobook on when I had the chance to also I have another cold sore like I only had one like a month ago not even and I have another one again it's really annoying um but so yeah, I'm that much through, which isn't too bad. And I'm really enjoying it so far. But once again, I do think this is going to be a four star again. Uh, but we still have a long way to go. So I could be surprised. But I feel like I don't. Well, well, number one, I can't really say too much about the series anyway, because it's the final book. And I don't want to spoil anything for you. I always love the like 
politics and the kind of all of like the military planning and all of that because um in this book we really see kind of different tactics because obviously she went to a school to learn about all to learn about war to learn about the tactics that you should use and all this and she is now fighting a very different kind of a battle and there's people around her and they're giving her new advice and being like yeah you've been taught that but that's not going to work in this situation and so I'm really enjoying that and yeah I'm loving the side characters I yeah I adore some of the side characters in this story um I I do like Rin I like Rin a lot and I think she is an absolutely fascinating main character to read from but oh my god this girl sometimes I like sometimes I just need to give her a smack like because girl use your brain <laughs> um because like throughout the three books now I feel like she had just had very little character development but like that is who she is as a person like she does not want to change uh but I so desperately want her to change because she does the same things again and again and it didn't work out for her the first time it didn't work out for her the second time why is it gonna work out for you this time why do you think that the outcome will change um so yeah so it's really frustrating to read f about her sometimes because sometimes you are like you are so damn stubborn and you do not stop to think of any sort of outcome for even a second and so yeah so that's but like that's what makes her such an interesting character to read about is that she is just such a kind of a screw the consequences i'm gonna just burn this place to the ground so yeah i'm i am having a good time so and as i said i do think it's going to be another four star so yeah so i have that much i might hopefully read a small bit today but honestly i kind of doubt it i'll update properly tomorrow but i read this entire book in a day so um but yeah so that was 535 pages robin hop will always get me out of a slump won't you It is now Friday. Yes. So I haven't made any more progress in The Burning God. I'm still halfway through that. But I'm going to sit down and read some in a little bit. And obviously, as I quickly mentioned, I finished Blood of Dragons yesterday. And I started it yesterday. It was fun. I love Robin Hobb so much. <laughs> but anyway, so today I... So I was doing a small bit of studying this morning. And I'm watching figure skating. <laughs> I literally literally watching it right now. <laughs> Pears is the only one that is done and we have the ladies free skate is on right now. Oh it's now called women's. Anyway and so like the Russians aren't allowed to participate and for some reason my little brain was like that means no more corruption and now the ISU is still corrupt. Their scores are still absolutely ridiculous. They're still trash and I'm also trash because I am watching. So yeah, I never change, do I? But so uh, as I mentioned, so I did some studying earlier. I was watching I stands, then had lunch, all of that. And then I went into town. And so in town, I, I already showed you, I showed you my, uh, I went to obviously book shopping. Uh, I got some little um, pajama shorts that are really cute, you know, as you do. And all, you know, bits and bobs. And then I, of course, bought books because I'm me. So my, where do I want to go? <laughs> we'll go with our first stop, which, so I got two books in my first stop um, because I had a book voucher from Christmas, but I just haven't been into this bookshop because I've been down in college the whole time. So I got two books by the same author. So one I have already actually read and then the other one I have not. So those are two books by Rin Pecco. So I got The Ever Cruel Kingdom, which is the sequel to The Never, uh, the Never Tilting World. Um, I read the two of them back to back last, maybe August. And 
I adore them. Like, they are very tropey, but they are just so much fun and they are lighthearted. And as I said, they're a bit tropey, they're a bit cheesy, but I had such a good time reading them and I gave them both five stars and they both made it to my favourites the last year. And yeah, so they're like typical YA, but they were like good typical YA and what I needed at that time. And so I was like, I love these so much. I want to have physical copies. They didn't have the first one in there, otherwise I would have bought that too. But um, I got the second one. So I'll keep an eye out for the first one. And if not, I'll just buy it off Book Depository or something. So then I also bought Wicked as the Wit You Wish, uh, which is their newest book, I believe. And it says 100 Names for Magic Book 1. I actually didn't know it was only book one. And it, it bugged me because these are different sizes. <laughs> but, like, they're, like, that different. It's really annoying. Um, but isn't this, like, such a stunning cover? I'm not, like, the biggest fan of people on my cover, but, like, I really like this. And I think I, pref I definitely prefer to the American one because the American one is just, like, blue with, like, text on it. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I prefer this. I think there's, yeah, there's something about it that I was like, well, <laughs> this one actually might come in handy for a Realmathon because, oh, supposedly the sequel's coming in May 2022. But, um, because supposedly there is a Snow Queen. I mean, I think, obviously, based on the Phoenix, it's probably more fire magic, but I could probably stretch it for polar fantasy because there is kind of a polar feel to it because it says at the back once upon a time the magical kingdom of avalon was left to wither and die after the snow queen encased it in ice so there's a city that is encased in ice and a snow queen and i'm pretty sure our main character is probably going to be like battling the snow queen but i feel like i can stretch that to count and i actually didn't intend on going to the other bookstore which i'm like wow thank god i did <laughs> because oh boy did i get a steeple <laughs> So it was only because my sister was going back to the car for a few minutes uh, before we were meeting up with our mother. And so I was like, okay, I'll just go to this other bookstore. Doesn't have the greatest selection, but they do fairly cheap books. I came across five books, which I would like to say, I usually do quarter quarterly book hauls, which is still the case. And I was doing so good. I was going to have like a really, like, I was only going to have like nearly like 10-ish books in my first quarter haul. And then I went and bought seven books today. <laughs> but I got the entire Heroes of Olympus series for 20 euro. 20 euro for five books. That is four euro a book, which is like, it's more than half off. I have read the Percy Jackson series like two, three times now. And the last two times I've reread them is because I was like, okay, I'm going to reread them. And I'm going to read on in the series. And I simply did not do that. <laughs> and so now I actually own them. So I think we're going to do it. And I, cause I messaged Lizzie because Lizzie did a reading vlog like a couple of months ago of her reading the original series for the first time. And she was like, oh, I'm going to read, continue on. And like at one point we mentioned like buddy reading them. And so I was like, I sent her a picture. I was like, look what I found today. <laughs> so I might buddy read with, with Lizzie at some point. So yeah. Um, so that's all for now. Oh, Blood of Dragons. No, that's not all for now. So Blood of Dragons, I ended up giving that four stars. I can't really say much about it because it is the fourth book in the fourth series in the Realm of the Elrings. And I love the Realm of the Elrings. I love Robin Hobb. Um, you can obviously tell that I've had a pretty good time with it since I read it in an entire day. Uh, it's my favorite of the books. Uh, but this entire series hasn't really been my favorite but I don't think it's like completely terrible. I had so many reactions to things that happened which like I was like losing my mind and like I'm not a very reactive person when reading books but I was like literally like <laughs> like I was like losing it on this like bed. I was and yeah so it was really it was a really good time. I think there was a lot of um discussions of things we kind of know from all of the previous trilogies. Um, I'd like to do it like magic and the world. And I'm like, <laughs> I know what you're on about. And oh boy, you would be shocked to know how the world has changed. <laughs> but I I still think that it definitely does have some, some weaknesses. This whole series just, it doesn't grip me as much. And I think a lot of it does have to do with the fact that the characters I just wasn't as attached to um and while I loved some of them I loved the growth of them I think 
like with the writing and the world and all of that I'm always going to love that because it's Robin Hobb I'm so used to it at this point my favorite books in the series are the ones that have fits I absolutely adore him as a character and I just don't feel the same about these characters so that's why I don't enjoy it as much but now that's all I have to say so we'll see you whenever hi so I'm just here to wrap this up so I told you about, about blood of dragons I'm in such a bad slump right now I let like because my book count of the month isn't too bad I think it's like six or seven but my page count is very bad because most of those were novellas I think I've only read like 2,000 pages, which is not a lot for me, so that's fun. Um, and I have not finished another book this week. I am almost finished The Burning God, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight because I'm watching The Blood of Dragons live show, so. And then I have to be up early tomorrow, so I'm going to bed. Hopefully at a reasonable hour. But I'm liking the burning god i think it's going to be a four stars it's definitely not going to be a five i think it's my least favorite of the series um just because i'm so frustrated by rin i like because the thing is, it makes total sense for her character but i just i'm getting fed up for doing the exact same thing over and over again and never and like it's always the same result i'm like you are an idiot so yeah um i mean what is what's that quote you know definition of insanity is doing something over and over and, and expecting different results that's what Rin is so yeah that's all um I'm gonna finish it hopefully on the bus tomorrow and um also next week so next week obviously is the start of April which is realm of on but um I don't know what else oh I also need to read the call of the bone ships yeah I need to do that Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!